What's going on everybody? My name is Rico. Welcome back to my channel. My channel is about vlogs, series and tutorials. And the tutorials that I make are about film and photography and help you guys, the content creators, become better at what you do using free programs. In this episode, I'm going to show you guys how to use Darktable and the RGB curves and how to create an orange and teal look as a bonus. And this is the image that we'll work with. I already adjusted some basic settings uh, to make it easier for you guys to follow along with this tutorial. I've put most of the things that we need in the favorites menu. I'm going to add a base curve here. And because I've already adjusted some of these points. In order to show you guys what we're going to do, we need to add three more base curves. And we are going to do that by hitting this little symbol right here and hit new instance. And we are going to do that three times in total. So basically you have a regular base curve that adjusts the image overall. You have a base curve and another one and another one. And we are going to put different RGB channels on each and every one of those. So for base curve number one, we are going to blend uniformly, blend mode, and we'll put that on RGB red channel. So now this will adjust the reds. For the second one, we are going to blend uniformly, then put the blend mode on RGB green channel. That will take care of the greens. For the third base curve, we are going to blend uniformly and put it on RGB blue channel. And now we have four base curves. The first one is to just change the shadows, midtones, and highlights of the image overall. The other three ones are one for the red RGB channel, one for the green RGB channel, and one for the blue RGB channel, which basically gives us more creative control over the image itself. But first, before we apply a creative look to our image, let me show you guys what happens when you push the midtones up or when you push the midtones down a bit. So this is what happens when you push it up. You see that red is being added to the picture. And if you pull it down, and I'm using the midtones, but you can use anything you like, it's extracting the red from the image and it's increasing the blue. So this gives it a colder look and this gives it a hotter look. Set that back. Same with green, if you push it up, the green gets added to the image. If you push it down or pull it down, the green gets extracted and you introduce a magenta type look. And for the blue one, this means going up, you increase the blues and going down. You are decreasing it, making it a little bit warmer because you're introducing the yellow. Let me explain you guys something about colors. We all know that red, green and yellow are the three colors that create all the other colors in the world. So for instance, red and yellow create orange and yellow and blue create green. In the world of photography, it's a little bit different because pictures are made out of pixels and pixels are red, green or blue. Hence why we have the red channel, the green channel and the blue channel. All the colors can be found on the color wheel over here. And with those color wheels, you can create different kind of color palettes. I'm going to show you guys five different color palettes that are commonly used when making a website or creating a brand for yourself. The first one is a monochromatic color palette, which basically means you've got the same color, but it's got different kinds of shades and it's got different kinds of tints in them. The second one is the complementary color palette, which basically means you've got one color over here and then you use the color the exact opposite of it. The third one is the analogous palette, which basically means it's the color that's beside your main color. The fourth one is a triad color palette, which basically means you use colors that have the exact same distance from one another, like the one over here. The fifth and final one is a neutral color palette with one color that pops. So for instance, you've got blacks, you've got grays, and then you have like a yellow kind of color that matches the entire color palette. It doesn't matter if it's a very bright color or if it's a more subtle color. You can choose any color that you like. But overall it's meant to be one neutral color with one color that really stands out that's completely different. So not with the same shades or the same tints. A very popular look 
lately in films, photography, is the orange and teal look. And I'm going to show you guys right now how to do that using Darktable. So let's get to it. In order to create the orange and teal look in this image, we need to start with the RGB red channel. And what we're going to do is we are going to decrease the red in the shadows a little bit like this. So it makes it a little bit more blue. And we are going to increase the reds in the highlights like this. And as you can see, my face became a little bit more red. Same with the legs and my hands and with uh, these pillars here as well. Now we're going to the green channel and we're not going to change anything in the shadows. So we're not going to introduce green and we're not going to extract green from it. But what we're going to do is we are going to increase a little bit of green in the highlights like this. And that's basically all we are going to do. And for the blue ones, we want to increase the blues in the shadows and we want to decrease the blues in the highlights. So what we're going to do is we're going to push this up. And as you can see, it turned a little bit more blue and we are going to decrease it in the highlights like this. Let's give it a fair bit of amount. There we go. Maybe increase it a little bit more in the shadows. There we go. And now we've got ourselves an orange and teal look. Now there's another easy way to do this. Let me show you, which is using the color balance menu. What you need to do is you need to change the mode from slope offset power into lift gamma and gain. And what that does, it, it divides everything in three. Lift is shadows, gamma is midtones, and gain is highlights. Orange and teal is orange in the highlights, or teal and orange, and teal in the shadows and in the midtones. So what we need to do is we need to change the U from the shadows, which is the lift area, into the blues. I'm going to increase the saturation. And now you see, if I put it all the way here, everything becomes very blue. I want it to be a little bit less. I want it to be subtle. So I'm going to keep it on about 10%. And you can use the top slider to go to the darker part or to go to the lighter part. And as you can see, the image is washed out more now than it was. So I'm going to reset that and I'm going to make it a little bit more dark. And now for the midtones, we are going to the blue area, a little bit less dark than the shadow area I'm going to increase the saturation as well now you see a nice blue glow throughout the entire image and for the highlights we're going to switch the u to the orange part of the u wheel and we are going to increase the saturation to about 16 percent as you can see now the highlights are being blown out um, you can see this by using this little symbol right here and this one right here so this toggles off the under and overexposed part of the image. Uh, and this basically means we need to change this. But overall, the image is getting a nice orange and teal look. You can check by making a snapshot and then compare the snapshot to the original. And as you can see, things have changed drastically. But now we need to fix the highlights because they are way blown out. And we are going to fix the blown out highlights by changing the exposure a little bit. So let's see what happens if we pull it to the side. There we go. That's much better. Details are back in the highlights as well. And now what we can do is we can increase the saturation a little bit to make the colors pop a little bit more. Let's take another snapshot and compare it with the original layer, which is blown out and the blacks are being crushed. And now we've brought back some details and we've put an orange and teal look into it. You can tweak this some more. I mean, it's not perfect, but I just wanted to show you guys what you can do. Uh, you can give it an orange and teal look in two different ways. And that's how you can utilize Darktable to um, enhance your picture some more. And that's it. I hope you guys liked it. Leave a comment down below what you thought of this tutorial. Leave a comment down below if you have any ideas for a future tutorial. I would love to hear them and I'll see if I can make it. There's one more thing left for me to say, which is make love to the like button. Consider subscribing if you like what you saw. Hit that bell button to be the first to be notified when I drop a new video. And until next time, doei!